Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be playing with this box that is right behind me and that's because I want to control the airflow here in my little data center servers they use electricity they kind of use a lot of it and they heat up when they are doing something and I kind of move that hot air from the data center the back of the data center and into my house and I have noticed or I think I have noticed that the fan that is bringing that hot air from in here and into the house well it's not moving as much hot air as it used to move so I've been checking it out and um, instead of just well taking everything apart and cleaning it up I thought well why not um, I'll get a new one and um, so I shouldn't have as much downtime as if I was well take the one out of production that is there now and whatever I got this from Germany it's a it's a fan blower it's a 125 millimeter fan blower and it's kind of a smart one I bought it from the same company that I bought uh, the one that is running right now which I could see that I bought back in 2013 so the fan blower that is operating here has been blowing out hot air from my server room for five years let's try and get a replacement and um, and I'll keep the other fan blower as a backup if something happens plus I think it might be so dirty inside that it's that's that's probably why it's not moving as much air but let's do a short explanation about what all of this is about just look at that a new toy a whiteboard and I even got some markers to draw on it with and this is from IKEA so they have the the Swedish names Mola I have this data center that we are in right now and uh, let's see we have let's just draw that it it has like this the back wall and it has this weird thing here and it goes out here and then it goes hmm, about that far down there and over here and kind of like that and uh, we have a door where is that that is about there right it goes out like that Kind of. We have a window up here, so let's. Uh, that's kind of in the middle window. In down here, I have an air intake. That's a round thing goes through the wall here. Air intake, and let's see here. I have my two data racks. Might be not exact. I, I don't have this much room in front of that. Well, I have these two racks here. So, um, what I've done is that the air comes in this way from outside. This is out. And all racks, when you mount the server, well, the server will blow the air that away. All of them. You might have some switches and stuff. We have different colors, I need to use them. So this is the... Back here it becomes hot. Red color, awesome. So actually the, it, the air becomes hot here going through the server. So there, red. And I have closed off. So, um, so the air, the hot air is captured on the back of the servers like that. And then up here, I have a hole in the wall, bringing that out through a pipe. Well, I actually have a muffler on there uh, to remove some of the noise there, and a long pipe, and that goes, oh, let's, are we still in framing? We're still in framing. Then I have the wall of the house here, and I have this going into the house, actually pointing downwards, helping to heat up the house and there is a door over here and uh, there's a wall um, it's, it's not a very good drawing but the idea is that the cold air goes through the server and it's heated up and it's very important to not mix the cold air and the hot air because when you heat up the air here you have 
concentrated hot air on the back of the servers and you have this cold air coming in. Um, in winter I close off this and then it just sucks in the cold air from here and well this, the, the data center will just air yeah, the coldness will come from anywhere and it will just heat up uh, the air and put it in the house and the air will not be very hot that's the general idea so uh, let's see how that works in real life in my situation here so we have all the servers here um, I don't have much of them on right now really uh, some of them are blinking here so that's good and over here this is how I normally close off the door section I have these pieces of, of rubbery foam that I put in place uh, in front of the door and when I remove them I can I can kind of feel like a hot blanket of air coming out here so and in here there is of course a fan blower so let's go in and we will see that up here I have a, the pipe that is going out of the data center and it goes over here to this big fan blower or might be able to see that from the other side there uh, we can kind of see the color is um, these fans should be black this is very grayish so I do believe that it's it's pretty dirty so my plan is to replace that one so that um, it should be able to to suck out more air most of the things in the data center blow out air that way, from the front and to the back. Uh, switches, well, we are not as lucky with those. They are, it's kind of random which way they, they blow the air. Some of them blow them out the side, and some of them blow them out that way, which is definitely in the wrong direction. But, well, yeah, that's something we have to deal with. It's not always that great. So to make sure that the air does go the right way, it's important to not have holes in your racks. So I have these fillers that are only there to cover up these holes. Otherwise the hot air from the back will be going out this way and it will mix up. Uh, the hot air will come out here and it will go up and be sucked into the server. These are off so no air is being sucked in there. Um, but that's the general idea. You, um, you make sure that a, there's a cold zone in front of the server and there's a hot zone on the back of the servers. So let's see this fan blower that I got. First thing I noticed was that it is made in Europe. So very nice of them to tell me that. And this is not really a cheap fan blower. Uh, you can get these a lot cheaper. I actually paid uh, 129 euros for this. Almost 130 euros and then uh, I bought it in Germany and they wanted 20 euros to ship it to me so um, it's uh, 60 watts and it will move 400 cubic meters of air every hour that does not include the many meters that I move the air but it will still do very good I'm sure so let's see what we have we have a piece of paper here too much info on that one then we have, they have different sizes, so they have a, I can see if, if I got 100 millimeters, then it will do this, 125, the one I have. They say here that it uses 65 watts, they just told me on the box that it uses 60 watts, confusion, and then there is a 150 millimeters, 160 millimeters, 200 millimeters, and so on, and well, they move more air the bigger they are so there is a two-year warranty awesome already wired double awesome i don't have to do anything they it, it comes with a metal bracket here i have already mounted the metal bracket from the one that is already running so that one we're gonna put right beside here and take the fan out of the nice box and we immediately uh, see that it's white instead of black so they change the colors on it comes with a sensor like this and this is meant for that it can turn up and down the fan speed depending on the temperature 
and that is really smart. So if the server room is not that hot, it doesn't need to blow that hard. That is awesome. You can kind of set that here and it's just nice. The old one has the same thing, so I am not, I'm not changing anything. I'm just replacing it. I better go get my gaffer's tape because I have mounted the old one with gaffer tape and I'm gonna be mounting the new one with gaffer tape and it's gonna be impossible to film that but well we might just see that once more okay as you see we have the fan blower here there is a converter piece right there and then it's gaffered on to this piece of um, plastic and this piece of plastic is really good for taking some of the noise there is considerable amount of noise out here in the data center and i don't really want the noise to be moved into the house only the warm air it's powered uh, there's a power strip laying up here so i need to disconnect that and i need to remove the gaffer tape and um, unscrew it and uh, i'm sure we can see on the new one which where the screws are because i have no idea i don't remember it's i have it's five years ago i mounted this thing i got the old fan out um i must uh, hurry a little bit now because now it's heating up around the back so i need to get this tape off and move this converter from here and over to there and put that on oh this tape is dried up oh i don't want that in here okay so there is there is a lot of tape residue here and that's the thing that I don't want in here. I don't want dusty thing. So, well, I'm going to clean this a little bit. I'm going to move that over here and it will, um, and oh, I'll tape it onto there. Okay, I, um, I managed to clean it up quite a bit. So, new gaffer. And I'm going to just, I'm going to put on some pieces. This one is going to just go in the middle of everything. It's going to fasten that in huh? once upon a time I had a pair of scissors around here so I, I think I have this okay it's not gonna it's not gonna go away there I have them um, it, it kind of pressurizes this ever so slightly so I have to gaffer it on quite good and I, of course, when I bought this um, thingy here, I got the wrong one. So it doesn't slide over or under. It fits exactly with. So that was a mistake. So that is why I'm gaffering it. Now I need to go around the back and screw the fan blower to some of these holes. And I have to be mindful about where to screw it in so that I can still manage the, um, the buttons here. So I'll do that and I'll show you afterwards. Okay, I'm just showing you what it looks like now. That piece of metal is up there and this is the hose that is gonna... Um, oh, it's dirty inside. I think we can, we can live with that. So that is gonna be mounted there again. So it's gonna be cool and it goes out that way. So mounting that. See how big this fan is? It's, it's down there. Okay, I have the new fan blower mounted over here i even have it powered up and the sensor is hanging right there and i have the camera not deciding if it want to do lights or not so that's how the new fan blower looks and uh, it's oh it's still on i'm not sure how to configure these switches yet but i turn it on because it was becoming unbearable hot around here so it's uh, running very nicely and I'm not supposed to stick my fingers in there because uh, chop chop. Okay, so the old fan is here and I was disappointed. Um, it's not that dirty inside. I don't know if I'm disappointed, but well, it, that might not be the reason why it's, why it's not blowing us. As good it is as it has, not sure, but yeah. It still looks good. Maybe I can um, I can give it a wrench. Just uh, turn it on and pull some water through or something. Uh, 
might just uh, do the trick. 2015 it says here. This one says 2018. So this is a bit in front of its time. Sure that I bought this back in 2013. Hmm. The new one uses less power. This one uses 0.26 amps and this one says that it uses 0.28 amps. So um, <clears throat> saving ever so slightly on that. I of course forgot to tell you the model number of this. It's a Prima Klima and it's a PK125TC which um, probably stands for temperature control. So um, we have these two dials up here. The one of them has the temperature you can set from 20 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius and the other one is percentage of um, well the fan speed. Well the idea is that you set the temperature of, of the desired temperature like the back of my servers well it's okay for them to be 30 degrees so I'll just put this on max. If, uh, if the temperature is not 30 degrees around the back well there is no reason for the fans to run at full speed. If I, if I put it to max max it will just always run full speed. If I pull it down a little bit let's say 50% speed well when the temperature goes below 30 degrees the fan speed will ramp down kind of trying I'm guessing that it will try and stay on 30 degrees if, if the temperature goes over 30 degrees well it will ram the fan up and uh, so this is the minimum setting of the fan speed so I probably want to put this further down because there's it's okay for it to run like 10% when the temperature is not 30 degrees so that is how I can control this fan and I've showed this before but here the air comes out of the data center and this is the muffler that uh, removes some of the the noise from the data center and this pipe goes that way, goes through another hole in the wall here and it goes into my... well this is very disgusting, I, I never cleaned this up but the air comes in here so now this microphone is active so I'm going to stick my face in the fan to let you hear that the air is coming out that way especially at winter it makes good sense to not uh, waste the heat produced by the servers behind me because I do not usually keep the heat on at my playhouse when I'm not here during the winter so the little bit of heat that comes in through those pipes well they help to not have my house freeze to a total minus when it's really cold outside there is still plus degrees celsius inside and that helps a lot when you come up here and you have to start heating the house for the weekend so well new fan awesome so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again fan video have a nice day bye bye